or she got it from. But you have brown hair. How come we don't have the same color hair? You know, Courtney, that's a great question, and I know just who to ask. Ooh. Hi, I'm Jean Girl. I'm sorry I was late. I was explaining the dorsal ventral patterning of Drosophila embryos oh. to Dr. Franks' genes and development class, but I'm here now, and this is way more fun. What question do you have? Well, Jean Girl, my daughter Courtney was wondering why I have brown hair, but she has blonde hair. Yeah, my friend Susie, she has black hair, and her mom has black hair, and my mom has brown hair, and I have blonde hair. How is that possible? Well, Courtney, the color of your hair and many of your other traits come from your genes. My genes? No, not those type of genes. These genes you got from your mom and your dad. I know, they bought them from Target last night. No, these types of genes you can't buy at a store. They're in you from the time you were a baby. How about I tell you a little bit about genes? That sounds like a great idea, Jean Girl. I could use a refresher course too. Genes are found in every cell of your body in these structures called chromosomes. Everyone has two copies of each chromosome. You get 23 from your mom and 23 from your dad. Okay, everybody answer. How many is that total? 46. That's right. Every person has 46 chromosomes in each of their cells, but all genes are not created equal. Some genes are stronger than others. These genes are called dominant genes, but other genes are not quite as strong. These genes are called recessive genes. So if you have a dominant gene and a recessive gene telling your body different things, the dominant gene will have a larger effect than the recessive gene will. So with hair color, Darker hair is dominant, while lighter hair color is recessive. So let's test what you've learned. Which is the stronger gene, dominant or recessive? Dominant. That's right. So, is blonde hair more recessive or more dominant than black hair? More recessive. Awesome, that is exactly right. So people with black hair have two dominant genes and people with blonde hair have two recessive genes. So what about my mom? She has brown hair. What kind of genes does she have? Well, people with brown hair have a mix of dominant and recessive genes, one of each. What color hair does your dad have, Courtney? Brown. Great. There is this tool called a Punnett square that we can use to show the probability of you getting a certain hair color. So does your dad have dominant genes, recessive genes, or both for hair color? Both. Great job. So let's set up Punnett square. So for this example, your dad will be on the top and your mom will be on the left side. On the Punnett square, a big B will be dominant and a little B will be recessive. Because they both have brown hair, this means that there is a big B and a little B at both places. Okay. So as we start to fill out the Punnett square, we'll start with your dad and we'll bring the big B or the little B down all the way down the column. So in the left column, your dad will give you a big B. And in the right column, your dad will give you a little B. This shows all the genes that you can get from your dad. So let's move on to your mom. For your mom, we'll pull the big B or the little B all the way across the row, all the way to the right. So in the top row, your mom will give you a big B. And in the bottom row, your mom will give you a little B. So in the bottom right square, there are two little Bs showing that it is possible for your parents to have a kid with blonde hair. That's me! That's right, honey. So, your genes and your environment around you determine your traits. Does your hair get lighter colored when you're in the sun a lot, Courtney? Yeah, it does. That's a great example. Your genes cause your hair to be blonde, but the sun makes your hair even lighter colored. 
Is it just hair color, or do genes control other things about the way I look or act? While some things like your behavior are not inherited from your parents, your physical traits such as eye color, skin color, freckles, and others come from your genes. Let me show you a trait that you can see right now. So Jamie, can you roll your tongue like this? Yep, just like that. Rolling your tongue is a dominant trait, so it's likely that Courtney can roll her tongue too. Can you? I can. Watch. That's great. Everyone, can you roll your tongues? Awesome. If you can't, that's fine. That just means you have the recessive trait. Did you have fun learning about jeans today? Yes, I had so much fun. Do you understand now why your mom has brown hair and you have blonde hair? Yes, I understand now. Courtney, do you have any more questions for Jean Girl before she goes off to answer more genetics questions around the world? No, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time, Jean Girl. We really appreciate it. No problem. Ring, 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 ring. Yes, Dr. Franks, I can come and talk to your class later about amphibian development. All right, guys. Oh, gee.